Have you ever felt like your twin flame, your mirror soul, is slowly drifting away from you? This is a question that stirs up deep emotions. A twin flame, for those who may not know, is a powerful spiritual connection with another person. It's as if you're two halves of the same soul. This bond is profound and sacred, making it all the more unsettling when it seems to wane or falter. Today, we're going to delve into the less spoken about aspects of this spiritual connection. We'll discuss signs that your twin flame could be losing interest. And let's be clear, this isn't about casting blame or inducing panic. Rather, it's about understanding the dynamics of this unique relationship and empowering ourselves with knowledge. So, are there shifts in your twin flame relationship that have left you feeling uneasy? If you've ever wondered about this, you're not alone. Today, we dive deep into the seven signs that your twin flame might be losing interest. The first sign that your twin flame might be losing interest is a decrease in communication. Communication is not just a key to any relationship, it's the lifeblood of it. It's the way we express our feelings, share our thoughts, and stay connected to each other's lives. It's how we navigate the complexities of our shared journey, explore the depths of our mutual understanding, and celebrate the joys of our combined experiences. Now imagine the power of communication in a twin flame relationship. This is a bond that is believed to transcend the physical, to be connected on a spiritual level. The communication between twin flames is not just about words, it's about understanding, resonance, a deep and profound connection that needs no explanation. But what happens when this communication starts to dwindle? When the messages become less frequent, the conversations shorter, the sharing less profound. When the silence becomes more prominent than the words, this might be the first sign that your twin flame is losing interest. A decrease in communication doesn't necessarily mean they're losing interest overnight. It might be a slow and gradual process. It might start with them taking longer to reply to your messages or not sharing as much about their day. It might progress to less verbal communication, fewer meaningful conversations, and eventually a noticeable silence. The silence is deafening in a twin flame relationship. It's a void that echoes with the absence of their voice, their laughter, their thoughts, their feelings. It's a void that reminds you of the connection you once shared, the bond that seems to be fading away. But remember, communication is a two-way street. It's as much about listening as it is about speaking. It's about understanding, empathy, and patience. It's about creating a safe space for them to express themselves, even if it's to voice their doubts or fears. So if your twin flame is communicating less, it's important to approach this with understanding and patience. It's crucial to listen, to empathize, to give them the space they need, while also expressing your own feelings and concerns. If your twin flame is communicating less, it might be a sign that they're losing interest. The second sign is a lack of emotional connection. Now, this is an essential aspect of any relationship, but it's particularly crucial in a twin flame connection. This bond is not just about physical attraction or shared interests. It's about a deep soul level connection. It's about understanding each other's emotions and thoughts, even without words. When your twin flame is genuinely interested in you, they will want to connect with you on an emotional level. They'll be keen to understand your feelings, your dreams, your fears. They will be there for you in your moments of joy, and they will be there to hold your hand through your moments of sorrow. This level of emotional connection is what makes a twin flame relationship incredibly special. But what happens when this emotional connection starts to fade? Well, it's like a beautiful melody gradually losing its harmony. You might begin to feel that your twin flame is becoming distant, that they're not as emotionally available as they used to be. They might not be as empathetic to your feelings or as interested in your day-to-day -day experiences. This lack of emotional connection can be a clear indication that your twin flame is losing interest. And it's not just about them not being there for you emotionally. It's also about them not opening up to you about their emotions. In a healthy twin flame relationship, both parties are equally open and vulnerable. They share their feelings, their hopes, their dreams, but when your twin flame starts to close off, when they stop sharing their emotions with you, it's like a door being shut. 
You're left standing on the other side wondering what went wrong. Lack of emotional connection can be a subtle sign but it's a significant one. It's like a silent alarm telling you that something is not right. So if you're feeling this emotional disconnect with your twin flame, it's crucial to address it. Open communication is key here. Remember, a healthy relationship is about mutual understanding and respect, about being there for each other emotionally and otherwise. A diminishing emotional connection can be a subtle sign of losing interest. The third sign is the absence of future plans. When two individuals are entwined as twin flames, their futures are also intertwined. They naturally plan for the future together, whether it's about next week's dinner or a dream vacation five years down the line. These plans are more than just shared appointments on a calendar. They are a testament to their commitment and mutual interest. In a twin flame relationship, future plans are a crucial element. They reflect the shared vision, the mutual dreams and the joint journey that the twin flames have committed to undertake. It's like two seeds deciding to grow into mighty trees side by side, providing shelter and shade to each other. This shared vision of the future is what fuels the journey of twin flames, giving them the strength to overcome any obstacle that comes their way. The future plans are not just about the destination, but also about relishing the journey together. But what happens when these future plans start fading away? When one twin flame stops talking about the future or seems uninterested in making any plans, this could be a sign of lost interest. Maybe they're not as committed as before or perhaps they're unsure about the journey ahead. It could be that they're dealing with personal issues or they're simply losing interest in the shared vision. Remember, it's not just about big plans like buying a house or starting a family. Even small plans like deciding to watch a movie together next weekend or planning a short trip can hold significant meaning. If your twin flame starts avoiding such plans or seems indifferent about them, it's a sign worth noticing. It's important to remember that everyone has phases of uncertainty, and it's not always a sign of lost interest. But if this behavior becomes a pattern, it's worth addressing. Communication is key in any relationship, and it's no different with twin flames. If your twin flame isn't making plans for the future, it might be a sign they're losing interest. Don't ignore these signs. Instead, open up a conversation about it. Remember, understanding and patience can go a long way in nurturing the unique bond of twin flames. The fourth sign is a decrease in physical intimacy. Physical intimacy, in the context of a twin flame relationship, is not just about the physical connection. It's about the energy exchange between two beings who are essentially one soul split into two bodies. It's the language of unspoken love, a conduit for expressing feelings that words often fail to capture. Physical intimacy is the manifestation of a deep emotional bond. It's a way to communicate love, trust, and connection. It's not merely about acts of passion, but also includes simple gestures like holding hands, a warm hug, or a gentle touch that can make the other person feel loved, cherished, and safe. When shared between twin flames, these moments of physical intimacy become even more profound and meaningful. Now, if you observe a decrease in these moments of physical connection, it might be a sign that your twin flame is losing interest. It could be that they are pulling away, shielding themselves, creating a physical as well as emotional distance. Such a shift can be subtle, gradual, and may not be immediately noticeable. But if you feel that warmth fading, that connection dwindling, it's essential to address it. Remember, it's not just about the frequency of physical intimacy, but the quality too. A lack of enthusiasm, a sense of obligation rather than desire, can be equally telling. It's like the difference between a hug that pulls you in and one that's just going through the motions. It's important to note that periods of less physical intimacy can also be due to personal issues, stress, or health concerns. It's not always a sign of lost interest. Open communication can help clarify things, but if the decline persists without any apparent reason, it's a sign worth paying attention to. A decline in physical intimacy can be a clear sign of dwindling interest. It's a signal that the connection is waning, the flame is flickering. But remember, it's just a sign, not a verdict. There's always room for healing, for rekindling the flame, for reigniting the connection. 
The fifth sign is avoiding difficult conversations. In every relationship, communication is the glue that holds everything together. It's the bridge that connects two hearts, two minds. It's the medium through which we understand, empathize, and grow with each other. But what happens when this bridge starts to crumble? What happens when we start avoiding the difficult conversations? Difficult conversations are those that challenge us, that push us out of our comfort zones. They are the ones that touch upon our insecurities, our fears, our hopes, and our dreams. They are the conversations about our past, our present, and our future. They can be uncomfortable and even painful at times, but they are absolutely essential. It's through these conversations that we truly get to know each other, that we truly bond. When your twin flame starts avoiding these conversations, it can be quite concerning. It could mean that they are losing interest or that they are unwilling to invest the emotional energy required for these talks. It could be a sign that they are distancing themselves, that they are building walls. This is not to say that every conversation needs to be deep and heavy. There's a time and a place for lighthearted banter and casual chatter. But a relationship devoid of any difficult conversations is like a garden devoid of any rain. It may survive for a while, but eventually it will start to wither. Avoiding difficult conversations is like sweeping the dust under the rug. It may give the illusion of cleanliness, but the dust is still there, hidden, ready to cloud the air at any moment. It's only by addressing these issues head on that we can truly clean our space, that we can truly grow. So if you notice that your twin flame is consistently avoiding difficult conversations, it's a red flag. It's a sign that they might be losing interest, that they might be pulling away. It's a sign that you need to address this issue, that you need to have a conversation about having conversations. If your twin flame is avoiding difficult conversations, it could be a sign they're losing interest. The sixth sign is prioritizing others over you. We all understand the importance of prioritizing our loved ones, especially in the context of a twin flame relationship. This profound bond is like no other where two souls are intertwined in a dance of mutual growth and understanding. It's a relationship built on the foundation of balance, reciprocation, and shared priorities. But what happens when your twin flame starts to prioritize others over you? This shift might be subtle at first. Maybe they're spending more time with friends or focusing on work a bit too much. It's natural to have other commitments, but when these commitments start overshadowing the relationship, it can indicate a loss of interest. In a twin flame relationship, you and your partner are supposed to be each other's priority. This doesn't mean you should be the center of their universe all the time, but you should hold a special place in their heart that no one else can replace. If you find yourself being pushed to the side for other people or activities, it might be a sign that your twin flame's interest in you is waning. Consider this, a twin flame relationship is about mutual growth and support. If your partner is constantly putting others before you, it might seem like they're no longer invested in your shared journey of growth. This could mean they're not as committed to the relationship as they once were. Remember, communication is key. If you notice this change, it's important to have an open and honest conversation about it. This could just be a phase or perhaps something more serious. By discussing your concerns, you might be able to rekindle the connection and bring the focus back to your relationship. So, pay attention to the priorities in your relationship. If your twin flame is consistently prioritizing others over you, it could be a sign they're losing interest. It's not about being selfish or demanding, but about maintaining the balance and reciprocation that a twin flame relationship thrives on. Because at the end of the day, a twin flame relationship is about two souls journeying together, growing together, and most importantly, prioritizing each other. The seventh and most significant sign is feeling unsettled or unhappy. This deeply rooted emotion is often a dead giveaway that something is not quite right in your relationship. It's like a gust of wind that ruffles the calm surface of a pond, a silent alarm that rings in the quiet of the night. When you feel this kind of unease, it's your inner voice trying to tell you that something needs attention. Imagine being on a beautiful beach with the sun shining brightly, the waves gently lapping at the shore, and a refreshing breeze blowing. But no matter how idyllic the surroundings, 
you still feel a sense of unease. It's as if there's a cloud hanging over you, dampening the joy of the moment. This unease, this unsettled feeling, is often the first sign that your twin flame's interest might be waning. Unhappiness, on the other hand, is an even stronger indication that things are not going well. When you're with your twin flame, the person who is supposed to be your mirror soul, your greatest joy should come from your shared experiences. But what if those shared moments no longer bring you joy? What if instead they bring you a sense of dread, a feeling of emptiness, or even worse, a deep-seated sadness. This unhappiness isn't about having a bad day or going through a rough patch. It's a persistent feeling that lingers, gnawing at you from the inside, turning what should be moments of happiness into moments of discomfort. It's like trying to enjoy a beautiful sunset while being bothered by a constant itch that you just can't reach. If you're consistently feeling unsettled or unhappy, it's a clear sign that something isn't right. This isn't about blaming your twin flame or pointing fingers. It's about acknowledging the reality of your feelings and understanding that they are valid indicators of the state of your relationship. To wrap it up, feeling unsettled or unhappy in your relationship is a major red flag. It's a sign that your connection with your twin flame might be fraying at the edges. If you're feeling unsettled or unhappy, it's a sign that something isn't right. It might be that your twin flame is losing interest. Now that we've discussed the seven signs, it's important to remember that these are just indicators and not definitive proof. However, they can provide a helpful starting point to understand what might be happening in your relationship. We began by discussing the first sign, a decrease in communication. This could be fewer text messages, calls, or face-to-face -face conversations. Remember, Communication is the lifeblood of any relationship, and when it starts to wane, it's a sign that something might be off. Next, we delved into the second sign, lack of emotional connection. This is when you start to feel like your twin flame is distant or detached. They may not be sharing their feelings or thoughts with you as they used to. This could be a sign that they are slowly disconnecting from the relationship. Our third sign focused on the absence of future plans. If your twin flame has stopped talking about the future or making plans with you, it might indicate that they're losing interest. It's as if they can't envision a shared future anymore. We then moved on to our fourth sign, less physical intimacy. This isn't just about physical relations, but also about the smaller gestures of affection like holding hands, hugging, or just a simple touch on the arm. A decrease in these actions can signify a lack of interest. Our fifth sign was the avoidance of difficult conversations. If your twin flame is avoiding discussions about issues or problems in the relationship, it might be an indication that they are losing interest. Remember, open and honest communication is crucial in resolving any issues and maintaining a healthy relationship. The sixth sign we discussed was prioritizing others over you. If your twin flame is consistently putting other people or things ahead of you, it can be a clear sign of their dwindling interest. While it's healthy to have other interests in relationships, you should still feel valued and prioritized. Finally, we talked about the seventh sign, feeling unsettled or unhappy. If your twin flame seems unsatisfied or restless in the relationship, it could be a sign that they're losing interest. Remember, happiness and contentment are key aspects of any relationship. If you've noticed any of these signs, it's essential not to jump to conclusions, but to communicate with your twin flame openly and honestly. Express your feelings and concerns and try to understand theirs as well. Every relationship goes through ups and downs, and it's through these trials that we grow and strengthen our bonds. Remember, communication is key in any relationship. If you notice these signs, it might be time to have an open and honest conversation with your twin flame.